AI tried to kill my dog. Do you know what AI is? Well, let me tell you. I don't want to boast, but it stands for artificial intelligence. And I know you already knew that, but basically it's a little person that lives inside your computer that you don't need to feed, you don't need to give them water, they don't need to sleep, they're always there. And it scares me. And don't get me wrong, I'm sure AI can and will be useful, but I've just seen way too many 80s and 90s movies that's gonna change my mind right now. However, Thank you. Uh, yesterday, AI uh, helped me. We had a bit of banter, a bit of conversation going on. Helped me come up with a five ingredient starter, uh, main, and dessert. And to keep it old school, I printed it off. It even helped me come up with some video title suggestions, which were awful. Unleashing the chef within. AI's gourmet free course challenge. I am not calling the video that. Howdy computer, please give me a recipe for a five ingredient starter with a little kiss on the end. I always put a kiss on the end of stuff. It gets a bit awkward with the mother-in-law to be honest. And then it fires out this recipe for garlic parmesan baked mushrooms. And I was like, do you know what? I love mushrooms, but the internet hates them. However, that does sound blooming awesome. I'm gonna give it a try. I mean, I guess they aren't dad joke warning fun guys. But then AI replied um, that, you know, it's just all about personal choice. And I must admit, your fun guy joke gave me a good chuckle. Did I just make AI laugh? End of the day, we got a nice potentially baked garlic mushroom parmesan starter. And that is what we are indeed starting with. <laughs> All right, so first three ingredients. These are some baby mushrooms, and it says to slice them into even sizes, but the mushrooms are kind of the same anyway. Three tablespoons of melted butter. Ooh. And these are some garlic cloves. So I'm just gonna mix that round together to evenly coat it. Preheat the oven. Oh yeah, AI, I think they get that in some ovens now where you can like, obviously just use like smartphone ones where you can be like, hey, AI, we're doing that recipe we talked about. I like pressing the buttons. Don't get me wrong, if we can get AI to wash up for us and we've all got our own little C3PO around our house, or maybe my god, look, Pat! Come on, Pat, come do the washing up. Come on, as a joke. But this is the thing with AI, if I was doing this recipe, I probably wouldn't even say to do it in a bowl, because I'm gonna do it in two mini baking dishes, but if you're doing it in one mega one, just push them in there straight away, in my opinion. I think I just rebelled. I feel a bit like that. Is it Kyle Reese from Terminator? I mean, it doesn't help that Mrs. B looks like Sarah Connor, but that's another thing. Just got some freshly grated Parmesan, sprinkling that right on top. Terminator 2 though, such a great film. I go on about Back to the Future a lot, and I love that film, but Terminator 2 is also one of my favorites. 15 to 20 minutes apparently. I just, this whole thing just makes me feel like one day, AI, AI's fine, and then in like 10 years, my AI postman is gonna come in and be like, I need your clothes, your boots, and your spatula. Uh, uh yeah. Anyhow, enough about the end of the world. Uh, the final ingredient is just some freshly chopped parsley, simply to garnish it, so I'll uh, get that done. But AI can't smell, and we can't. Well, you can't, but I can, and I can confirm that it smells Absolutely gorgeous and crusted on there. Ah! And then some of that freshly chopped parsley on top. And because it's warm, it'll probably just sort of wilt on there a little bit. I'm gonna try one of these right now. Serve as a tasty appetizer. Mmm. Oh, you can really taste the butter on there. The mushrooms are super tender. The parsley's doing a little bit, but the flavor is in the butter and the garlic. That is blooming nice. Right, main course. But hey chum, hey buddy, how's it going? This time a main meal, perhaps with chicken. Because I've heard that you can go, I've got these ingredients, make me something with this and it will do it. And it smashed out this um, chicken and broccoli stir fry. And I was like, ah, chicken and broccoli stir fry just seems a bit too meh and not like a meal. Can we do something a bit more filling? It chucked out a chicken and vegetable skillet, which again sounded all right, but then I had to, you know, bring AI back in and be like, come on now. Go and buy my specific 4321 rules, even with the five ingredients, that is too many ingredients on that recipe anyway. Can you give me someone to really pack it out? You know, like pasta or rice or potatoes. Was I actually feeding AI? No pun intended there. Was I was saying like, hey, give me, give me the potatoes there, get, you know? <laughs> <laughs> work with me. Absolutely, bro. Uh, and this uh, gave me this one with this like um, chicken Alfredo kind of vibe. And I've touched on this recently. I find that chicken Alfredo is quite an American thing. Uh, like the Alfredo sauce, it's not really something I can easily get here. Look, I know you're the Terminator, but it's a bit too American for me. So then it gives me the chicken and potato bake, the recipe we're gonna try. And I read that and I was thinking, do you know what? 
You're my slave. Can you change the instructions to be a UK version? Sorry for the confusion, mate. And then they write out the new instructions in English form-ish. Anything else I can help you with? Um, maybe dessert. I'm just gonna go have a breather. This is really awkward. <sighs> right, let's make a chicken bake. First thing is some potatoes peeled and cut into wedges. So there we go, wedges are uh, four potatoes. And if I wasn't following this recipe, personal choice, I would have just washed it and kept the skin on, I like it. So I've just pat dried the starch off of these with a bit of kitchen towel. The AI recipe doesn't tell me to do that. And I love the fact that in the future, maybe we all have these like headsets or something, or headbands, or not, not neck bands. That's running man. If you do something wrong, AI zaps you. Ah, no, naughty human. I know I may be overthinking it, but there were people that on the 1999 New Year's Eve into the 2000 millennium that were paid a lot of money to stay up to make sure that the world didn't end because of the digital clocks on computers and stuff. Some people spent that New Year's Eve in bunkers. What I'm saying, as we add in the garlic and the onion. People have been scared of a lot less things. This is some time, it says to do a teaspoon, but I feel like adding a little bit more than that, maybe double. Last thing is some olive oil, all those specks of thyme. I think thyme is one of my favorite herbs. The garlic's in there somewhere, and of course the potatoes, they look like they've just been rolling around in grass, having a great time. Just need a fairly even platform for the chicken to sit on. We've got four chicken thighs with the skin on and bone in. You guys have told me in the past the bone in thighs uh, actually generate more flavor. A lot like before, we shimmy on some more thyme. It's chicken thyme. And some olive oil just to help stick that on there. There we go. Oh, and my oven is just ready. That is perfect timing. The juices from the chicken as it cooks are gonna seep into the potatoes too. Ah, oh, in it goes. Finally, for the dessert, we came up with a chocolate raspberry tart and in brackets, enhanced. And that might be because I encouraged the AI to get creative. Okay, my friend, last one, then I'll never talk to you again. <laughs> Give me a five ingredient dessert to wow my guests that are coming over. Just joking, there are no guests, just a pug, but it is the thought that counts. Make it gourmet, baby and it came up with this chocolate raspberry tart. It's quite intense because it just chucks the steps at you like, uh, 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 okay. Couldn't I put the raspberry in with the sauce at all? Question mark. And it's like, oh yeah, absolutely. Adding the raspberries to the chocolate sauce will give it a lovely raspberry flavor. So it completely redoes its recipe for me, allowing me to put the raspberries that we're buying, which will also garnish into the sauce. And I was like, that's pretty cool. Then I noticed one of the last steps said, slice and serve the chocolate raspberry tart to your pug or indulge in it yourself. So, <laughs> see, I think we've enhanced it there and I love the mention of the pug, but I think this would possibly kill him. <laughs> You're absolutely right. It's important to prioritize the well-being of your pug. Chocolate can be toxic for dogs. All right, so we've got some cookies here. The raspberries are actually fine for dogs, but I do believe with chocolate, the darker the chocolate is, the worse it is for a dog. And it suggested dark chocolate. There's my video title, AI tried to kill my dog. <laughs> In comes some melted butter. Now I'm gonna go against the AI here. I wanna try and create a bit of a crust on it. So if I'm just gonna shimmy this round a minute and just form a bit of a crust up the sides, okay? All right, amazing. I'm gonna shove that in the fridge. All right, so that is chilling. It might be in my internet fridge, uh, AKA the freezer, but that's up to you. Just don't doubt AI. So we've got some double cream here, shove that down. And if you haven't worked it out already, we are making, we might have read it on the screen, a chocolate ganache. So I just need to get some chocolate ready. And of course we're gonna enhance it with raspberries that I suggested, which if it, if it made the recipe fail, that'd be amazing. But I generally think it's gonna be good. Pouring it straight on. We also add in the raspberries. Now this is only a quarter of the raspberries I've got. The rest is gonna go for the garnish. Stir continuously until the chocolate is completely melted and the mixture is smooth. Well, I don't know how smooth it's gonna be because we've got like lumps of raspberry in there and it didn't tell me to whiz it up. So on the next step, it is referring it to as our raspberry infused chocolate ganache. Blimey. Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> My word. Pry crust has firmed up. Oh my gosh, I can see chunks of raspberry in this. Little pockets of flavor. Chill it for at least an hour to set. Right, let's get that in the fridge and get the chicken out. Holy schmoly. All the juices have mingled in. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, 
I'm gonna drain most of it off though, because I just got a feeling that those potatoes will go really soggy. And to be honest, it's not the worst thing for it to get soggy in at all, but I want them to be firm. But for sure, let that separate, skim off the fat and make a gravy from it, and then you're gonna elevate that. If it is as good as it smells, this is done well. So the internet fridge <laughs> did a very good job on this and I'm just gonna put some raspberries on it for now but stick it back in the actual fridge now just to bring it to a better temperature so it doesn't cling uh, to the tin but that is ready to go. I'd love to dust icing sugar on it but how easy was that? Actually I might be able to get it out. Oh there we go. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> that looks amazing! Alrighty, so back to this chicken thing which is still warm. Oh, the chicken is crispy. It's tender, juicy and cooked through. Mmm! Mmm! That is absolutely fine. Just comfort food, filling, just that tender, juicy chicken, the flavours running through there, the support of the time-scattered potatoes. I got a little bit of onion, maybe some longer strands in there would give it a bit more punch. To enhance it, maybe some citrus juice, so some lemon, lemon zest in there as well with the chicken too in those juices. And again, some more spices, like I said. And I personally think if the potatoes were like smaller cubes or thinly sliced, that might be a little bit less dense, but it is proper nice, honestly. And really, you could have just jiggled that all together in a big baking dish and then lifted the chicken on top and scattered it. In fact, I don't know if that really matters. If you don't want it crispy, love it. And for this, Oh, I've just burst a raspberry. Amazing. Straight through. All right, let's go for it. Mmm. Oh, that is wonderful. There's a well-known brand of ice creams in the UK. It might sound like... What the hell was that? It might rhyme with Bagnum. They do a chocolate raspberry one. It tastes like that. That is incredible. Now, the one thing AI didn't do, and we've got to give it some slack because they were very simple instructions, is like think, oh, how you could tweak it or enhance it, like adding the lemon and the herbs, like with this and spices. But with this, like going back to my 4321, you've got the cream, we had a little bit left over. I would personally like to drizzle that on there because you've already got it and it's just enhancing it as a serving thing rather than ice cream or custard alongside it. It doesn't need it and you've got these little pockets of raspberries embedded in there. Intensely rich, but unfortunately, definitely not fit for a pug. <laughs> So is AI the future? Is it here to stay? It's not for me to say, I think it will. It's a little bit like a wife that really wants a new sofa. In the end, it's gonna happen.